Hi, it has been a while. I think New Year's Eve was the last time that I vlogged. Um, things have been a bit crazy lately, but today I'm having a full vlog day, kind of a day in the life. I've got loads of little bits to do um, and I thought I'd take you along with me. So I have a few little updates. The first one is, I don't know if you guys watched the vlog where it like all changed. There was like a, a vlog twist, <laughs> a plot twist where um, I had like a call about an exciting opportunity and everything. That's all worked out. So I've been in London doing some stuff, some work stuff, which is really cool. Really like cool opportunity that I'm very excited about and can't talk about. But I just want to let you know that it actually did pan out and the excitement was for a reason and it's all awesome. I'm now back in the swing of things, filming my ASMR YouTube videos. I just filmed a video last night making some earrings and I'm, I'm showing you a preview because I really, really love these and I wanted to wear them today. Look at these. So they have little flowers and little hearts. I just thought it went so well. I'm wearing a lot of blue today. Like I have blue and then I have blue jeans and then I'm gonna wear a bl blue coat. So I thought these would like tie in. But oh, I wanna talk to you about my eyeshadow really quickly because this is also an ASMR video that will be coming up like in a couple weeks-ish. Um, but I bought some ColourPop products, which is the first time I've ever tried ColourPop. And um, I bought some of these jelly eyeshadows. Um, and this one is called, I don't think you're ready. I think that's the shade anyway, um, that I'm wearing today. And this is the first time I'm trying it. It's in this packaging and, oh wait, I'll say on the back. Oh, it's called Doves and Roses. I think that was just like a little tagline. Yeah, Doves and Roses. And it's this beautiful, like peachy, I don't know, corally, pinky, orangey color. And this was literally two swipes of it. I blended it out with a blendy brush. And that was my makeup done. Big fan. I'll be interested to see how it lasts though. That's key. But I'm also trying out a new mascara today because I don't know if you guys have, like remember my whole struggle about having like, when I wear a mascara for a long period of time, all the black all around. And a lot of you guys recommended using a waterproof one. So I'm trying one today. I'm trying this one by, I think it's pronounced Mina uh, Waterproof. It's called the Build Up Mascara. This was sent to me, gifted to me, um, and I hadn't tried it yet. So now is the time because it's waterproof. I like how it looks, but the key thing is if I get the black around my eyes. So we'll see about that today as well. The first thing I need to do is make myself some lunch because my belly is growling. Like I've just, I must have just edited out like a load of growls <laughs> that just happened. So I think I'm gonna make some lunch and I need to walk layer and then we need to go to the city for some stuffs. So I really, right, so I had so much fun making these last night. Um, it's re-inspired me to go and find loads of beads from charity shops because my favourite thing is making jewellery, like repurposing jewellery from charity shops into new jewellery. My belly's rumbling. Oh my god. Um, yeah, like finding big bags of beads that you then use or like existing jewellery that's like 50p and then I'll take all the beads out and then remake them into things that I would wear. So yeah, I want to go and search through some charity shops and look for some new beads to use and oh I'm excited today's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day right let's go I'm just putting my outfit together look I think this bag is gonna look so cute it's from Delia's and I think it's gonna match in so well I'll put on my full outfit and show you I think this will look so cute look this bag with this jacket my blue thing my thing and then my blue earrings I feel so blue but in a good way like a positive kind of blue so I'm going to make a really quick egg fried rice for lunch. I'm going to show you how I do it because it's the most instant lunch ever. I literally use these um, instant rice things. You literally just microwave them for two minutes and they're done. Obviously an egg, oil just to fry the egg in, soy sauce, oyster sauce and honey and that's it. I, I, you can obviously do egg fried rice just without any sauce but I like a bit of flavoursomeness in there, you know? First thing is the oyster sauce. This is one I got off Amazon because I'm gluten free so um, we get like a special gluten free one but you can obviously use any one that exists. Then soy sauce, again a gluten free one that you can just get a normal one. And then a little squeeze of honey. However much you like. I like things sweet, so I put quite a bit in. <laughs> like that. And just mix it all together. And that's done. But that tastes like blooming Chinese gorgeousness. A little bit of olive oil in a pan. Like that. So then crack the egg. And it should just like mess it all around. Because you just want like a 
little bits of egg to weave between the rice grains, if you get my vibes. This is personal preference, but I add a tiny bit of the sauce as well, so that the egg goes like all caramelly and gorgeous. Then I add some garden peas and sweet corn, just so that there's a little bit of health in there. And just pour the rice in, like so. And add the rest of the sauce. Mix all together. And that's literally it. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to take this little layer out for a W-A-L-K now. Just got home from the dog walk. Now can go to the city, do a bit of shopping. The Wait, let's go. The water so I I just let it you know. I wait along the corridor. Some would say they seen me here before. just got home and I've noticed the mascara has done the thing. Look, can you see? It's got the black around it. Hang on. I shall zoom. <laughs> Look. Uh, why? Is it just me? This is waterproof. It's never ending. <laughs> Comfified, get like actual clothes off and onto comfy, really comfy stuffs. I'm trying to think maybe it's the like foundation or something that's making my mascara do that because before I changed foundations, I never had that problem of mascara going. Is that normal? I, I'm genuinely so confused. I have no mascara now that doesn't do that. So if you have any advice, please help. <laughs> I had a great day. I'm super chill now. I'm gonna make a like homemade pizza vibe. Like not the base. I'm using a tortilla wrap as the base. And oh, I'll show you what I do because it's freaking, that was weird. <laughs> but it's... So I didn't end up buying anything today. There was nothing that was like 
grab a me. Like I was looking for the jewelry beads that could make into earrings, but they were all kind of boring to me. I, I tend to go for like pastely things or like cool, like clear beads, but nah, I wasn't feeling it. But um, I had a great day anyway. I love rummaging around cherry shops. See, there's a dog in the background I'm trying to find something to eat probably in my room. Just talk that up. <laughs> So I'm going to cook food now. I'm basically making a tortilla pizza. So tortilla, tomato sauce, mozzarella, parma ham, sweet corn. I'll show you how I do it. It's really quick and easy. I'm using these um, gluten-free tortillas, but obviously if you're not gluten-free, just use like normal human tortillas. Then all you need is ketchup, mozzarella, you can use like fresh or grated, whatever you prefer, or even just like cheddar, just any cheese. And then I've got parma ham because it goes crispy and it's so thin it goes crispy. And I'm gonna put sweet corn on the top. So with ketchup like this. Smooth it around with the back of a spoon. Then we've got the fresh mozzarella here, which I just kind of rip up and put on. Then whatever toppings you want. So I go a bit of parma ham. I'm not gonna bother with sweet corn today because I can't find it. But that is basically, you could, if you want to be extra fancy, you can add oregano, which makes it taste like a pizza. Bit of this, bit of, bit of oregano. Oh, you beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So mum bought this little treat. It's a luxury apple pie cut by Kirsty's. It's gluten free, obviously. Um, and you literally get like two slices of pie and then you cook it in the oven and then it's hot and then you put cream cream with it there it is I feel like this isn't doing good justice but oh my friend So that is me done for the day. I am literally just going to chill for the night, edit this video, play a bit of Rocket League, chill with my dogs. Leia started sleeping in my bed every night as well, which is heaven. She's normally not that affectionate. Like she normally, like this, she just wants to leave me all the time. Plays a tiny violin. <laughs> Look. I'm like, <laughs> Eyeshadow, I'm so impressed with this Colourpop thing. It has not creased. I've had it on the whole day. It is my new life. And I got it in so many different colours. But you'll see it in my ASMR makeup haul I do at some point in my life. I have another makeup haul coming out before that. But yeah, yeah. It's been so much fun to vlog again, honestly. I've really missed it. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I don't know if I have any more updates. Like, there's so many things that I can't talk about, but I want to talk about because you're my friend. You know, like, it's like a chit chat but I, I don't think I can say anything that I want to say so yeah okay but yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and I will hopefully vlog soon I want to get back into the rhythm of one a week um, like I was in but things are just so crazy at the moment but I will try I will see how I get on I'm not gonna put pressure on it though I'm just gonna like I want to I want to vlog when it's the best time to vlog and I'm in a like like a not hectic space do you know what I mean so yeah, because this is part of my fun hobby enjoyment is doing the vlog channel. So yeah, okay. Right, speak to you guys soon. Bye.